After the global success of Scouting for Boys, younger children soon ask to join the adventure. Wolf Cubs is launched as a pilot scheme in 1914. Baden-Powell asks Vera Barkley to help him develop a handbook and prepare the scheme. With the men away on the Western Front, many women volunteer as leaders. In December 1916, Wolf Cubs officially begins. At the first World Scout Jamboree in 1920 at Olympia, 500 cubs take part in a huge grand howl. In 1922, Peter baden Powell becomes the first and only chief wolf cub. Cubs become a regular sight in the country, doing good turns and making themselves useful in their communities. With the outbreak of the Second World War in 1939, Cubs support the war effort by collecting scrap paper. Many packs move with them to the countryside to provide activities for the evacuees. As Cubs celebrate its 50th anniversary, plenty more adventures lie ahead. Cubs continue to grow and in 1967, Wolf Cubs become Cub Scouts. Bobber Job, which launched in 1949, goes from strength to strength, and soon Cubs are raising money for more adventures. They're raising money for others too, including £140,000 during 1979 to support young people in Nepal. Hundreds of thousands of Cubs take part in National Tea Making Fortnight in 1982. In 1986, Cubs celebrate their 70th birthday with the Rainbow Year, packed with activities. Finally, in 1991, girls join Cubs too. The familiar Cub Cap is dropped from the official uniform and in 2000 join the Millennium Chase to welcome in the year 2000. Today, there's 150,000 girls and boys enjoying the fun and adventure of Cubs, trying new things, enjoying camps and still making a difference in their communities. 2016 is Cubs 100, the wildest birthday ever, celebrating the centenary of the Cubs. There's over 5,000 thanks events, adventure camps and promise parties across the UK. Happy birthday, Cubs!